All right, so we did the 200 and the 300. Nice thing is it's not crowded out here, and we can walk on down there. So let's go down. Shot the 200, about an inch and a half, maybe two or three inches low. Went ahead and dropped it down three clicks. Let's see what that effect had at the 300 yard. I'm not too shabby with these uh, with these groups, but we're going to shoot some more. Let's get down there and take a look at it. Here we go. All right, here we are at the 200. Um, here we go. Uh, a little over two inches, so that's just a tad over one MOA. Four rounds that cost me 55 cent a round. Uh, not too bad. Uh, like I said, we'll go ahead and I'm going to shoot off the bipod. I shot off the tripod this time because I just wanted to make sure. Look at this flare from the sun. Isn't that beautiful? Anyway, uh, let's get on down to the 300 and see how that looked. Look at that. Beautiful day here. A uh, little windy, but not, you know, whatever. I don't care about wind. It's not like we're shooting out to 1,000 right now. Here we go. Okay, so we're going down to the 300 yard. My eyesight is not what it used to be. As a matter of fact, I was like, Jesus Christ, did we even hit this damn target? Guys, this is a 300-yard group with a 16-inch proof research barrel. And uh, I like it a lot. <laughs> Where's it at? Right here. Uh, what do we need to do here? I'm going to chalk that up for wind, okay, because we, we do have a little wind down here. We're going to throw about 20 or 30 more rounds to this thing and see where it impacts, but... I'll go ahead and mark that as the first group, and I am satisfied. That's 300-yard group right there. Took my time on those. Not bad. Uh, let's just keep going, man. This is a lot of fun. So I've been doing some thinking, and I said, me, if you were you, and I am me, uh, I think we're going to come down a click, left a click, because that's a one-tenth of a mil. What is one-tenth of a mil at 300 yards? You either give me the answer down below. I know what the answer is. Do you? We're playing games. This is a lot of fun. That was a pretty impressive little group. It's a relief. It is. Here we go. Stand by. So one of the best things about it is with any ammo, the coolest thing, you can have the greatest barrel in the entire world and the greatest manufacturer of that, that round. And they might not like each other. Uh, that's where you hear the term, uh, that, that bullet did not like my barrel or my barrel didn't like that bullet. So the cool thing is I do have my uh, sniper rifle here uh, to see what the root groups look like that. So at the end of the day, when we get done, I'm going to probably load, put that on that upper because they do match. It's all JP and see how they work in a 20 inch barrel. That's proof research. Both the same barrels. One's 16 inch, one's 18. Probably going to get a little bit more velocity out of it. I don't care what the velocity is. I just need it to match up with the reticle. I wish I was able to bring it out to about 600 yards to see. But unfortunately, we're not there. So maybe Mike Sexton will let me run out there real quick. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, that's the cool thing. Bullets don't match barrels all the time. That's why people hand load. And if you ask people like X-Ring, man, they go to the nth degree and reloading for those precision guns. All right. Let's see what do we do on the next shot. One left, one down. So here we go. All right. So evidently, I uh, moved a little too far left. Elevation's good. They opened up a little bit uh, here. And here we can only shoot three rounds at a time I'm not really concerned about that but uh, anyway elevation is good uh, I did bring it back I did it two clicks left I don't know why it's moving so much but uh, we brought it back one click let's see what effect that had at the 300 let me go ahead and circle these things make sure I can keep them straight because I am gonna try some of my hand loads also all right well we opened up a lot right there I don't know if it was me not keeping my time or whatever but uh, between left and right we'll get one in the middle if I'm hitting a 10 inch gong at 300 yards, I'm happy. So let's do the, uh, let's do this. One more round of these guys right here, okay? Uh, just for kicks and giggles, right? And then we'll try to the uh, my reloads from last year. Uh, they seem to be doing pretty good too. Here we go. Uh, the wind's kicking a little bit. If you guys can hear that. All right, so, but it is coming uh, from the back, okay? So should that affect accuracy on this stuff? I don't know, but we've got some wind kicking now. <laughs> here we go. Okay, so this is my bipod setup right here. And this is on an Arca rail. It does have a little bit of a barrier stop on there, you know, a lot of fun. And with this bipod, it's made by Alice and enables me to move it from here to here, but does not pivot back and forth. I was more interested. Now you see, this is kind of a hand-built thing, uh, area 419 with a barrier stop on there, but I put a couple washers in there so that this would hold level. So. Look at that bad boy. Oh yeah, new Trigger Tech Diamond Trigger's coming in here for soon too. 
on that group of 200. I don't know. Didn't take my time very much. I wish it was some way of loading this thing up. I was going to go. Into I really don't want to. I'm going to see if I can get this guy lower uh, when we go out to 300. Uh, and you can do that. With the Atlas, all you have to do is pivot those legs out. Hold on, I'll show you how we do that. So pivot them back, which enables me to load up the front end of the, of the deal. Uh, and also get the rifle lower. Lower is better. Uh, lower, better, more accuracy, more contact points. Let's do the 300. Here we go. Also, I'm running a 20-round mag when I shoot the 77 grains. Like I said, lower is better. Unless there's a thing where i got to jump in there and really put some stuff down range. This guy's just... It's performing the way I wanted it to. Uh, I wish there was a way I could get out the five, six hundred yards, but we'll settle for that right there. All right. Well, she's running flawlessly. That's the position I'm using right here. We'll get out. We'll do some position training here in the near future. Uh, I'm not really concerned about that. Like I said, man, I'm out there to have fun. This is going to be a blast. Let's see where these uh, last six ended up. It's 200, 300. Here we go. Okay. Nice little group right there. I'm, I'm okay with that. The wind's kicking up so much today. You probably need to hit this thing real early in the morning just to get a true value on what's going on. Uh, I think we're consistently shooting left, but with the wind coming from the back, I don't know what the hell's going on. But so anyway, the group is nice. I'm not digging. I'm digging that, especially off the bag and the bipod. So let's kick it on down to the 300. After that, we're going to go ahead and do the uh, hand loads. I'm loving walking this course, man. It's kind of like going and playing golf. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. Uh, I'm okay with that. So let's do this. Uh, I think we're okay for shooting this competition. Uh, and especially off the bipod and not having to be on that tripod thing. And then, of course, you know, here's the deal. If I can hit a target at 300, uh, then I'm doing good. <laughs> These old eyes. One eight power scope. Uh, primary arms we're doing all right so let's get on back out there i'm gonna try some uh, hand lows just to see where the impacts are in case i need some ammo so here we go all right so we've been kicking ass up and down this thing <laughs> i think so far i've walked about three miles today all right so uh these are the hand loads we'll see how close they are it'll be interesting to see it all right well i pulled one at the 300 we'll see how that goes but let's get on down there and figure it out that's today's the day that's it all right a little out of order here we went down to the 300 because my lovely bride called me and i had to talk to her uh so the hand loads, this is the one I pulled right here. Uh, these two, not bad. I'm okay with where these impacts are. I got a new watch. This is the Instinct 2X Tactical. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're okay. So anything in here, good to go. All right, so let's take a look at the 200 and we'll end this video. In a, this is like the old school, man. This is like I used to do it all via phone many moons ago. And it just, I'll tell you what, man, setting up a damn range video where you got cameras on every target especially after you know you're doing from up to a thousand yards it's a royal royal setup it's it's a lot it takes a while to get it going this is a lot more fun i have a good time i mean hang on here's 200 stand by all right so we've got the 200 yard target you can see the hand loads right here which is really neat because here are the hand loads at 300 yards okay so the commonality is that they're hitting just a tad high rolling right um other than that, man, not bad. I'm happy with this. The uh, AAC ammunition, I'm very excited to see how it compares up to the Callaway Ballistics uh, 77 grain. And like I said, uh, we'll pull the, the, I actually had the chrono this week, and if I had more time, we'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to send my membership in by mail to the guys over there at the Mifflin County Sportsman Association and uh, get that taken care of where we have more time and uh, we're able to get a range by ourselves. But uh, yeah, today was a great day. We did what we needed to do except for the shotgun. Tomorrow we'll be uh, taking the pistol out and testing it out, making sure all the ammo works for it. And uh, that's it. With that being said, guys, I'm always in them like this. God bless American Cubs as men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom's out on the range. Yes, sir, until Joe Biden gets involved. And he wants to mess it up for everybody. Why well, is that guy running again? It just goes to show you how selfish he is. It's all about Joe. <laughs> And what a divider he is. His rhetoric is so inflammatory. <sighs> anyway, that being said, you guys have a great day. And infamous words of the real Cobra Burnout. Boom, I'm out of here. Y'all be good.